Oh, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's your old buddy Owen. I've missed you. I've been thinking about you. And I've got a video for you reviewing this device. This is the paper shoot camera. I've had it for almost a year. It does some cool things. It does some bad things. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's not for everybody. I'll tell you my unfiltered thoughts. Here they are. So number one, it's pocketable. It's easy to use. There's four settings on the back. You've basically got an original quality. You've got black and white, you get sepia, sepia, uh, and then you've got a blue. And then you also have the capability of video. I'm not even gonna talk about that because that is, Blech. they should take that off the listing because the video is nothing. You have to have it plugged into a portable charger. You have to press and hold the button and it captures 10 seconds of video and that's it. So just take the video back off there, make it a nice to have, but yeah, it's not, it's not a video camera. Don't even try it. But the paper shoot photos, it's a lot of fun. You put the little SD card in there, you snap away, you put the SD card in your computer, you download the photos and there they are, you know? And the results are infrequent. They're infrequent. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're terrible. So in a, a well-lit day like this, a little bit of clouds, not too bright, not too dark, the photos are great. But especially if you're holding the camera still, you're gonna get a good photo. You're gonna press the button, wait two seconds, it's gonna make the click sound, then it'll take it. So you gotta have to be still when you're capturing the things out in the world. But once it hits, it's great. It's great for little portraits or landscapes or kind of city shots. It's fun, it's a lot of fun. And it's a great, it's great to have a device that you can just pop in your pocket, take photos whenever you want that isn't a smartphone. It's a nice thing to have. And it's also great that though it has results that are similar to like a toy camera or a disposable camera, you're not wasting all of that plastic and all those resources to use a device like that. It's all digital still. Some things I don't like, low light, garbage. Any movement, garbage. The button is so easy to bump that when it's in your pocket, you'll always have just tons of just black screen photos in your camera roll when you pull them back up. But what are you gonna do about that? But on the flip of that, it's really fun to just hand this off to a kid because I, you know, I'll bring my DSLR or my mirrorless somewhere and take photos. You're not gonna hand a $1,000 camera or $2,000 camera to a little kid and say, hey, have fun with it, unless you're crazy. But I will gladly hand this to my toddler, who's two, and he'll go around and take photos. Most of them are of his chin and they're just hilarious. So that's the good, the bad. And let me give you one thing that I haven't seen anywhere on the other videos I've seen about this, and that is the file structure of these photos. When you take a photo and you import it to your computer, the date defaults to 1980. I was never alive in 1980, but the, the way it databases or logs those images are in freaking 1980, the year 1980. Uh, and it's just obnoxious. So I'll, I'll drop a photo in like my Google Photos or something like that, and I go to find it, and I'm like, where's this photo? I took it today. I gotta go back to 1980, like Marty McFly or something, and find the photo, but inevitably it's there. So it's a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Is it for everybody? No. Is it better than a smartphone camera? No. The price is right. It's great to see devices like this that do exist. They do have a newer version out now that's a 16 megapixel option. I have no plans of upgrading to that device, but there surely are other videos out there about the new 16 megapixel, megapixel option that you can check out. This video is not sponsored, but if you do like it, make sure you um, like, comment, and share this video. And if you're gonna buy one of these, use the link in the description and I'll get a little, little a little something for that, you know? Why did I sniff? That was weird.